couldn't catch a breath. You enjoying this day? Mm. Hello. Hello, welcome back to Sage and Stone Homestead. My name is Heather. We do have another doe in labor. It's our La Mancha Talia. Hi, Tali. How you doing, ma'am? Is Christine being mean to you? These three babies over here were just born in the last couple of days. I think they're three days old today. I'm getting run over. And Christine here, this chocolate La Mancha, she's very protective over her baby. These other babies belong to Elpis. Elpis is a lot less protective. She's not doing it right now, but Christine has been quite the bully. I've been watching her on camera. Well, I'm just gonna do it a little bit there. That's right, ma'am. You know you're gonna go in timeout. I'll go get your little girl. Don't worry. Come here, your mom is looking for you. <laughs> Come here. The babies love to jump and run and play, and I'd like to have them do it, but we're gonna get some rain real soon. And if I don't lock Christine up, she's just gonna kick everybody out in the rain. It's not good. So far, Talia has been laboring out here. She's doing a really good job. I'd like for them to labor in a big space like this where they can walk around. At this point though, she she looks like she's in need of some space. She doesn't want really anybody except for Breezy near her. Breezy, this is her daughter from last season. I'll lock her up too. It's like you know, come here. I didn't bring my collar. Come on. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some bedding, okay? What a gorgeous baby! Wow, look at you! Hi! That's a buckling. Here, honey. You got another one. He's so pretty, too.
really taking great breaths. Good boy. Good boy. Did you get it? Are you okay? Did you get it? I see two teats. I like her. She's so pretty. One teat, two teat. And she's trying to drink my armpit. So let's go over here. Oh, I like her. She's so pretty. Hey, baby. Good morning. So here's little dude that I was having a hard time breathing. So I really didn't know why he was having such a hard time until I started to edit the first part of this video. You can see it as he's coming out that his amniotic fluid, he's actually a tinge of green. And I knew that he was coming out gold and I guess I assumed that that color was just part of being gold and wet, but it was not. You can see when I moved him over to see if he was a boy or a girl, that there was definitely meconium passed inside the amniotic sac. And very likely he had some of that in his lungs and that's really sticky. It's like tar and so it does not clear very easily and he was having a real hard time. I've never had to do that upside down swinging motion before, but I've seen other people do it. And what that does, it basically just uses centrifugal force and gravity to help expel anything that is stuck. And ultimately he did cough up whatever was blocking his airway and he bounced back fine. So as you can see, he's gold, but he does have this darker colored moon spot right here. I just think he's so darn pretty. And his eyes, they will be gold eventually, but they have this little blue tinge to them for now. His daddy's eyes are brown, brownish gold, and mama's eyes are gold. So they'll be gold eventually, but they're pretty. I was just checking your teat status. Two teats. That's what we expect. This is the little doling. She is the prettiest La Mancha that I have seen in real life. I've seen some real pretty ones on the computer, but she's the prettiest one that I've seen in real life, and she's mine. We're keeping her. We're gonna add her to our mini La Mancha program. She's an F1 mini. She is polled, and she's covered in moon spots. All these dark spots here, they're a little bit brownish gray. These are moon spots. So the dark ones are moon spots as well as, see she's got this grayish one here on her shoulder. That's a moon spot as well. A moon spot is just a pretty colored spot on a goat that isn't, did you? Ew. Oh, you've got a tar butt. Hold on, pause. Some of that thick meconium is still coming out of them. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's gross. Some of her moon spots on her head. She almost looks like leopard print from a few different angles. Yeah. Moon spots are pretty colored, very interestingly placed usually spots that are not white and they're not on white. A lot of times you'll know it's a moon spot if over time it lightens. These dark moon spots will lighten to, there's almost this mocha lavender type mousy brown, really pretty. One of our Nigerians, Stormy, her moon spots started out like this. Anyway, she's covered in them and we love them. And she's going to be an awesome addition to our mini La Mancha program. So as far as little boy is concerned, 
it was really puzzling me until I started to edit the video why he couldn't catch a breath. I saw the meconium, but even then I was confused at why he had meconium in his sack. So when a baby passes stool inside their sack, it's a sign of stress. Um, she actually delivered a day early, so it's not like Talia was overdue. Um, it's not like she had a long labor at all. And it's not like he was tangled up. I could not figure out why that baby might have been stressed until I remembered. So I've been live streaming the births for our members and I will go live periodically for the public. Once I fix a few things with the camera, a few of the members saw our goat back here, Christine, really slammed Talia into the wall at one point. Christine is very protective of her new baby. She gets like this, and apparently she got a real good one on Talia. And usually things are fine. Goats are quite rough much of the time, but I'm not gonna discount that as a possibility for his stress. In any case, he did get a breath and he is fine. Three births down, four to go.